This episode of Stuck in Vermont is made possible by Hotel Vermont and Vermont Tourism. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Saulberger, and we are here at the Middlebury Workshop of Danforth Pewter. Sometimes we'll be in the stores to talk to people and, and do an event. And they'll say things like, well, I didn't know there was a real dance floor. <laughs> Years ago, people used to say, you're too young to own a business. You know, like, <laughs> now they don't say that anymore. <laughs> For 40 years, Judai and Fred Danforth have been creating things like this out of pewter. That's right, they're pewterers. Our passion is to create and to work with this incredible metal that's so versatile. I realized what this metal could do and I became increasingly passionate. Our love grew strong in our apprenticeship when we were learning these techniques. So many different things can be done with it. It can literally make a button or a beautiful oil lamp and everything in between. So we've been able to just keep moving as our ideas and trends kind of keep, keep moving, we can move with it. Danforth Pewter dates back to 1975, but the history of Pewter and the Danforth family actually goes back to 1755. This is a teapot made by Josiah Danforth mm -hmm. in the 19th century. Fred's ancestors were pewter smiths and right at the heyday in, in colonial America. 2015 was designated the Year of the Arts by the Vermont Legislature, and not many businesses combine both art and commerce the way Danforth Pewter does. Hard to believe <laughs> that we've been married almost as long as we've been in business, or is it we've been in business almost as long as we've been married? We started the business in order to be able to follow our passion and to make things. And the business part of it came because what we decided to make, people liked. You are still making things by hand, I yes. see. This yes, we are tenacious and we're very committed <laughs> to it. This is a spinning lathe. It's my home place. It's my happy place. What I do here is I make chucks and I make prototype spinnings and I make one-of-a-kind spinnings. This disc has been carefully rolled in a rolling mill to a very even thickness with no impurities. what it looks like after the second spinning. Mm -hmm. And then we cut out this part, the top, and we solder a bottom on this part, and we put a collar here, and it becomes an oil lamp. The oil lamp was the first thing I designed when we moved into Woodstock, to our shop. This is called a spinning tool, and I have lots of different spinning tools. Some of this is just old plumbing, you know, pipes, and some of them are car parts. There's one here that I made out of a Volkswagen steering column. So this is steel and I use the fulcrum pin to push the softer pewter over the aluminum chuck. I'm self-taught so I had to learn by exploration and deducing how certain tools were used. It's definitely a lot of practice, a lot of broken pieces, a lot of you know frustration but eventually it's the most fun of anything. <laughs> This is my happy place, which is my <laughs> wax carving bench, where I can take an idea and carve it with these miniature little carving tools, being able to just carve away little bits and bits till I get the design right where I want it to be. I use a lot of different tools. I use files and woodcut tools and you know various things to get the, the image the way I want it. And I will end up with a, a finished model that is the master or the original model for the casting process. This is a casting. It's a flying pig. It's a custom piece that we that we do. It is a flying pig. It I wasn't sure for sure. Pig. 
This has earring designs, cufflink designs. We start with the product that Judai and Fred design, cast it, finish it, polish it, and ship it all over the world. I didn't go to school for this. I was Fred and Judai's neighbor. I told them that I needed to get a full-time job, and they said, well, how would you like to be a pewter smith? <laughs> Once I get this mold made, I would cast my production models one by one out of there. And then Lois is working on models that I actually cast out of this mold. And that is a necklace? Is that This right? is going to be a necklace. Each individual pewter piece, no matter what it is, buttons to oil lamps, are handled a lot of times by some really skilled people. We've been able to train people over a period of time to do wonderful things with their hands and, and produce things that we hope that they're very proud of. I'm pretty proud to work here. To watch them celebrate 40 years and know that for more than half of that time I've been a part of the family. 25 years now? 30 years. Many minds and many hands make things better in our opinion. We're a team. transition from craftsmen being retail at the craft fair, the card table with the tablecloth on it or the blanket on the ground, and we've come so far from those days. But that was conscious. That was people in the state saying, we want to elevate our quality and we want to become known beyond the borders of this state, but we want to live in this beautiful, incredible place. Vermont is known and has been for a long time for its amazing quality. So that's been a wonderful thing to be a part of. We've had so many turns in the road along the way that it's just been an adventure. In 40 years, many changes, many challenges happen in a business, and if you want to stay with it, you got to stay flexible. Combining arts and commerce for 40 years, not a bad run. And we'll get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. How have you managed to be together for 40 years? Well, it's been a challenge. You know, I'm from Mars and Judah is from Venus, but luckily, the shuttle bus got stuck in Vermont 40 years ago. It's a good thing. It's a good, <laughs> a good thing to be stuck together. Right. You are a pewterer. Yes. I, I just like that yes. word. Yes, isn't that a funny word? A pewterer. A pewterer. I didn't even know it existed yeah, until it, I was yeah. reading about you guys. Hotel Vermont is personal, purposeful, and natural. Rustic and modern. Unique, independent, and unlike anything else. It's fun, it's exciting. Hip and relaxed. It's Vermont, it's Burlington. Come down for a beer, come stay overnight. We'd love to see you.